On November 19, 1988, in South Hayward, California, nine-year-old Michaela Garrett was abducted by a stranger in front of the Rainbow Market. That case has been investigated for over 20 years. The Hayward Police Department has investigated over 13,000 leads. And unfortunately, the case has remained unsolved. On August 27th, along with the rest of the world, we learned about the break in the J.C. Dugard abduction. As we learned more about that case, we saw more and more similarities to our own abduction in 1988. These similarities included the physical appearance and ages of the victims, the manner of the abduction, in that they were taken in a very brazen manner in broad daylight in a public place, the similar vehicle descriptions between the vehicle used in 1988 and the vehicle towed off the Garrido property recently, as well as the description of Philip Garrido in the late 70s, early 80s, pictures we've obtained of him in that time in comparison to the police artist's sketch done in 1988 by the witness to Michaela's abduction. For those reasons, we obtained a search warrant for the property that had been inhabited by the Garritos on Walnut Avenue in unincorporated Antioch, as well as the adjacent property that Philip Garrido had access to. Our aim is to methodically, systematically, and very thoroughly search the properties with our own cases in mind, knowing what we're looking for in our cases. On January 30th of 1989, 13-year-old Eileen Mishloff never made it home from school. For 20 years, we have been attempting to determine what happened to Eileen Mishloff. The uh, investigation and arrest of Philip and Nancy Garrido for the 1991 kidnapping of J.C. DeGard came to light and our investigators immediately started looking into the possibility that the Garritos had some connection to the Eileen Micheloff disappearance. We'll be looking for any items of evidence that may possibly connect the Garritos to Eileen Micheloff. At this point, we cannot say that the Garritos are with certainty suspects in this case, but certainly we've been unable to eliminate them as suspects in the case.